Yo, what is up everyone? Buzzy Games back here. Today, let's learn how to create a door that any player is able to claim. A claimable door. So of course, first and foremost, let's go ahead and actually create our door. I guess you could technically use it for a tycoon or I don't know, a house, literally up to you guys, but um, it's just a special door that only certain players or only you will be able to claim. So this door is just going to be comp uh, composed of three parts and the middle part is going to be the actual door that I want to pass through. I'm going to go ahead and change the transparency of it just so that it's slightly see-through just a bit and yeah, that looks pretty good. So inside of the door that we want to pass through, let's go ahead and actually add a surface GUI. And then inside of that surface GUI, let's go ahead and add a text label. I'm going to go ahead and delete all those welds. We really don't need it. Now for the surface GUI, let's go ahead and actually uh, resize it so that it takes up the, I'm sorry, resize the entire text label so that it takes up the entire red part. And to do so, let's just go ahead and do one comma zero, comma one comma zero. And perfect, that's exactly how I want it to look like. Let's go ahead and scale the text, change the uh, text to say unclaimed or no one owns this, whatever you guys want. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure the background transparency of this text label is uh, transparent because I just do not like that uh, white background. And then just go ahead and feel free to just customize the rest of your text label to your liking. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a script inside of the part that we are passing through. We have a variable which references the uh, door part and then another variable which references our text label. We're going to create a player added function where if a player touches this door, then the text of our text label is actually going to change to our player's name. And then it's gonna have add a, an, an apostrophe S door. So let's say for example, if I wanted to claim the door, it'll be Buzzy Games Beth's door instead of just Buzzy Games Beth. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and set the transparency of our door to 0 0.5 and then set can collide to equal to false. Let's test out our script inside of our game and you'll see that the moment I pass through this door part right now it says unclaimed but when I pass through it it'll say fuzzy games Beth's door. Sweet! As always have fun creating and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace!